In this video, we will be working on the auto attack. So when we hit, it waits until we can hit again. And we can run away, come close, make a hit, run away, come close, make a hit. And if we stand wrong, but suddenly get rid in, we'll hit. So first off, I kind of did my mistake again, um, but I tried to reset it all. So we have to change a few things from last video. Uh, this uh, auto attack speed, just remove that. And this auto attacking, remove that. Um, because I had to try different things and it kind of did not work out as I wanted. So if you create a new empty and we call this one instead for auto attack stance. And we put in our um, attack idle motion, um, which is this one. Um, and then we say, okay, from here to here, you will have no exit time. And if it's we are in combat, and if we are not in combat, uh, then move the exit time and say, well, then. Uh, false and from there we have to make like a, a way to go from auto stance into the attack so i have uh, this sort animation attack i will use and i also want to go back and sometimes you actually come from movement direct into the attack so we also want that and it's also possible to actually leave and you can also come from the jumping and from the jumping back so look like this and we will call it basic attack and what i found out was that it was easier to just have a trigger and call it uh, attack now and say, well, if this one is triggered, then we go straight into this. And if we are not in combat, then we can go to the jump. Oh, sorry, to the movement. And each, this one, you should leave the has exit time on. And on this one, you should take it off because we want to see the attack animation get done. And here we actually do the same, say, okay, we have a trigger and on the way back, well, if we're still in combat, we go to this. And here we say, um, to jump, it's true. And here we say, if attack now. So I think we'll do like this and Move the exit time, have exit time on. So this is a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I can just make it bigger so you guys can see. So we have the movement, the jump, basic attack, auto attack stance. And from the auto attack stance, we can go into other uh, abilities and stuff. I probably changed it again many times, but for now we do it like this. And then we actually have to do our very first uh, stat for doing this. So we go into script player and make a new script called player stats. And we can open the player stats. We can take all of this and namespace it uh, RPG stats and put in brackets and paste this in and we can actually remove this in here and the stat we actually want to make uh, on this one is a public float auto attack speed and later in the videos we will set the auto attack speed to our weapon attack speed uh, and kind of if we have some buffs that will change it but for now we'll have like this um then we need to go into the combat player and say okay we will also be using rpg stats here 
Um, and then we need to call that. So player stats equals to p stats. And then in the start method, we will say, well, p stats is equal to get component uh, player stats. And we have to add a few more variables here in the top. And it's kind of messy right now, but so, but hang in there. We will probably change it later. But uh, we will need a public bool uh, for uh, if we are in range. Guess I will change how that is working. And then we have a public int for can't attack. Um, and I kind of thought about we can also make a bool for this, but for now I keep it like this because maybe. I will change it into something else. Um, kind of depending if we have two weapons and stuff. So I will leave it like this for now. And then we will actually take this line and control X and we will make a, a void for that instead. So say void uh, check check range and put this in and say okay if in range uh, is in range is true well then uh, let's see in what do we call it in range yeah it's equal to true uh, else In range equals to false, and we need to take this and put it in, in the update. Keep checking if it's if we are in range. So every time we have something selected, we need to check are we within range of this, and then we need to change these to in range. In range and in range like that. And okay, so now to the more tricky part. Um, so we kind of need to change a bit in this start auto attack. So attacking is true, we're standing still, and all that is great. But we also need a player control that selected enemy is equal to null and can auto attack angle and in range and can attack is equal to one. So if we can do all of that. If all of this is correct, then we can uh, start the coroutine and we will call that one basic attack. Um, look like this. So we need to make a coroutine. We can do that down here. Say I numerator um, basic attack. We need to write yield, return, new, wait for seconds. How much seconds will actually we want the player, player stats dot, um, what did we call it? We call it auto attack speed. So we wait the time before our weapon is ready again. And then before that, we can say, well, well, we cannot attack again. So we did attack and then we cannot attack. But if we wait the time our attack speed is, then we can attack again. So we say can attack equals to one. And then we kind of have to start it all over to so say start like this. So when we start again, in this, we will again have one and can start the core gene one more time. 
So here we will say player control player control dot mn set trigger set trigger attack now. So what happens that if all of this is correct, we will start this coroutine and first say that we cannot attack again and we will do the animation and we will wait the attack speed time and then we will be able to attack again and then we we'll start to doing all this one more time. Um, let's see if it works right now. So we can run, we can right click. Let's click on the player and see this number one means that we have one auto attack ready. So we go in auto attack and it just actually keeps auto attacking. That's not too good. Oh, the problem is that <laughs> we actually forgot to put a cooldown on it. So let's say we have a, a big sword with uh, 3.6 cooldown so go in hit wait 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 hit wait 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 and if we stand away we will still get one attack we can also uh, swap into a new one so each time we right click but we need to be within range, but we get our auto attack back. Like that. Yeah. So for now, this will work. So now we need to add some health to the enemy, to the player, do some damage, uh, more stats, and build on from here. But I kind of like it how it is right now. Um, the simple terms. So.